Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to install your rear bumper onto your Honda Odyssey. If you were looking how to remove the bumper cover, uh, I have a separate video on how to do that and I will link to that in the description below. So first we're going to do is if your rear bumper uh, has backup sensors, you're going to want to scoot your bumper close to the car, maybe even pick it up a little bit and you're going to plug in the wiring harness um, so those will function properly before you put the bumper on. Um, and if you don't, then we'll start right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick up on the middle of the bumper here and we're going to set it there on the bumper beam absorber, which is that black part on top of the bumper beam. Um, but so when you're doing that, you just want to make sure you these sides right here that they stay on the outside of the car. So when you go to pick it up and put it on there, you kind of want to go back and forth so that way the sides are on the outside of the car and they don't hit the back and, uh, and get scratched. So we're going to pick up on the middle. And we just have it resting here on the absorber right here. And if you set it on there, it's going to stay. And next, we're going to go underneath the bumper. And the reason we're coming down here is to check typically this little flap right here. It wants to hang low. And you're going to put the bumper on, and this is supposed to be up behind it, and it stops the bumper from wanting to go on. So we're going to take this flat, and we're just going to take it and tuck it in behind the bumper, like so. And then we're going to go ahead and get back on our feet to fit the rest of the bumper. All right, so now we're going to go around to each side here. And you want to make sure your bumper is on the outside of this black spacer right here. All right, so this side, it's behind it. So when we're going to put the bumper on, the spacer is going to, st to, uh, is going to stop it from wanting to go onto the car. So we're just going to put the uh, bumper on the outside of it. And now, check this side again. And we're good. So next we're going to want to slide the bumper forward and you want these tabs here on the bumper to slide up underneath these brackets here. You have the bracket and then you have the tab on top of the bracket. So they go on the bracket but then they go underneath these tabs here. And so when we go to put the bumper onto the car we need to pull back on the bumper. There you go, you can see it's starting to slide underneath like that. And we just wanna go along all these tabs here and see how that one's starting to go underneath. We need to pull that out. There we go, so now we're on top. And then check this one here. All right. And now that the brackets are, or the uh, bumper rather is laying on the bracket, before we wanna slide it all the way in, we want to check our alignment here. So you can kind of just pull the bumper around. You want to make sure you can see both holes on both sides. All right, so we're fairly, fairly aligned here. And then just go ahead and push the bumper on to those tabs. And then we're going to come around and we're going to check. So I want to come back down to the bottom of the bumper here again where this flap was, and you can see this back part kind of fell down again, so we're gonna take that and tuck it up behind the bumper while maintaining kind of some pressure on the bumper to keep it from falling off those uh, brackets and the tabs on the back. So we got that up underneath there, and we're gonna press the bumper forward, and it's not falling out anymore. And now I'm gonna get back on my feet, and we're gonna clip the bumper into the sides, and what we're clipping it into is the spacer here. So I'm going to kind of use both hands and uh, my knee underneath the bumper and I'm going to kind of pick up on the bumper with it and slide it forward until it slides into that spacer. And then I'm going to make a fist with my hand and just lightly tap it into place. And same with down here. And again, kind of just like before, uh, it's going to be a little hard to see, but this uh, spacer, kind of the same deal. It's got, um, it's got the spacer that the bumper lays on and then it goes up underneath there and there's little tabs on that spacer and it just slides in between there. And all of these tabs 
uh, or cutouts rather on the bumper aligned with these tabs here on the spacer. And so as we're lining it up, before we go to pop it in, we're going to come around to the kind of the front of the rear bumper here. And you can see this liner, how it's on the outside of the bumper. It needs to be tucked in behind the bumper before we snap this in. So just take it and tuck it behind it. And then once it's uh, in behind there, the bumper will basically just kind of fall into place and you just press it, press it in. And we'll go around to the other side and do the same. And then once you have the sides all snapped in, you want to check over everything and make sure the fitment looks all right. Um, but then at this point, you're basically ready to go ahead and put the screws back in the side here, the bolts in here, and then the clips back into the bottom. Um, on these back bolts here, obviously you just want to make sure when you're putting the bolts in, you want to align the holes. So you want to start the bolts by hand, um, get them threaded, and then go ahead and tighten them down. Um, and then to adjust it to the hatch coming down, if it's a little too tight on the hatch, you want to loosen your bolts and then either push it out to make the gap wider or push it in to make it tighter. Uh, but that's basically it. Um, again, if you want to uh, see a video on how to remove the bumper, um, that'll be in the description below. I'll have a separate video on that. Um, and then I'll show you how to take all the bolts and clips and screws out and everything. Um, but that's it, guys. That's how you put the bumper back on. Thanks for watching.